why is it that people will spend probably tens or hundreds of thousand dollars of dollars on a college education but they for some reason don't want to cough up like fifty dollars for a horse riding lesson <laughs> video I'm going to be diving into education and the importance of educating ourselves as equestrians okay because you cannot learn horse riding just by reading books I mean I love books I read a ton of them I mean oh my god like I have so many books like it's ridiculous um, but you cannot learn horse riding just by reading books and just because you've read a horse book does not mean that you are now suddenly qualified to go and you know teach horse riding lessons to others, like that's not how it works. And for some reason I see so many people, they're going online, they're going on Facebook, or they're going on all of these different places, and they're trying to, you know, ask their questions or learn about how to train horses, and they have no coach, no mentor, no guidance, and they're just unwilling to spend some money, or they think they're unable to spend money on education. And that is the biggest mistake that I'm seeing. So the DIY, you know, do-it-yourself horsemanship, it doesn't really fly, okay? Because at the end of the day, your horses deserve you to be as educated as possible about horsemanship, okay? You, you, your horse deserves that you are the best rider for them. Your horse deserves that you know how to care for them properly. Your horse deserves that you know how to, you know, treat them correctly on the ground and the saddle, like everywhere. That you know how to speak their language, you know how to communicate with them in a way that is comfortable to them and, you know, that, you know, if we were educated, then there would be no such thing as behavioral issues with horses, really, or it would be dramatically less because you would actually have the knowledge and wherewithal on how to develop a relationship with your horse without giving them bad habits or without, you know, having them become afraid or fearful of different objects or things or having our emotions, our fears rub off on them. So, so many problems would be avoided if we simply took the time to educate ourselves. I am a certified FEI level two coach, and not just that, but I'm actually certified in a number of things. And you know, I'm a certified like yoga teacher, and I'm a certified equine massage therapist, and I'm certified like I know how to trim horses' hooves, and I'm certified in uh, you know training and riding and like all kinds of variety of different things. And I've also educated myself by shadowing different coaches and mentors. I've trained a whole variety of horses and worked with a variety of breeds. You know, I've done polo and endurance and show jumping and dressage and almost everything you can think of. And I consider that to be part of my education. And not just that, but I've also traveled the world to learn about horses and the equestrian industry. And I've worked in over 20 several countries, five different continents. I've learned horsemanship from a variety of cultures. And again, different breeds, different disciplines, different styles, different coaches, different mentors from high level, like Olympic people um, to Olympic coaches even, um, all the way down to like everything in between. So I have a lot of experience in in the field, okay? I'm, I'm out there in the trenches, kind of. And one of the most common things that I see is for some reason, you get a lot of people that they are seeking knowledge, okay? And they confuse knowledge with experience. And you can't confuse knowledge with experience. That's where the whole you can't learn horse riding from books um, actually plays in. Because yes, you can read it in a book. You can have some information. You could know in theory what something's supposed to do or look like, but having the feeling of it, okay, knowing how to do that or knowing what it feels like when your horse is doing that, those are two very different things. So the three most dangerous words that you can say in the English language are, I know that. I know that. And the reason that these words are so dangerous is because when you say something like, I know that, all you're doing is immediately your brain is now closing the door, okay, it's no longer open-minded and ready to receive information. Your brain just automatically switches off and closes the door because you already know that. And again, the difference is it's not about knowing something, it's about doing something. So just because you have the information doesn't mean you can actually do it. 
So that's why it's so important that you don't say the words, I know that. And if you find yourself in a situation where you're thinking to yourself, even subconsciously, oh, I already know that, then what you need to do is you need to halt, you need to pause, and you need to think to yourself and be very honest when you are trying to you know, figure this out. You need to ask yourself, do you know it or do you do it? Because those are two very different things. And just because you have the information doesn't mean you're actually doing it. So if you think about it and you think, am I actually doing that? Okay, whether it's horsemanship, whether it's on the ground, whether it's, you know, when you're lunging, whether it's something that you do when you're riding, you know, if you're working on leg yields, is your position in the correct leg? Like, are you doing it or are you knowing it? Okay, if you are not doing it, then I'm sorry, but you don't know it. Okay, if you're not doing it, you don't know it. You don't have the feeling, you don't have the experience. You need a mentor, you need a coach, you need somebody professional who can help you, who can guide you, who can help get you there. Now, I will say that a lot of people, they try and say, you know, they try and make excuses. Again, we'll drop $10,000 or $100,000 on student loan debts for a college, you know, piece of paper degree. But for some reason, when you're trying to convince somebody who's trying to DIY everything with their horse, you're trying to convince them to pay for an education or a, you know, a riding instructor or horse lessons or a coach um, or an online course or whatever it is, you know, you try and convince them to do that and they're not convinced. They don't want to spend the money. And I'm, you know, money is not an excuse. So there's only three reasons why you might be trying to make the excuse of, oh, I can't you know, educate myself when it comes to horses and I have to DIY it. Number one is time. If you don't have the time, then you need to spend money on online programs or coaches or whatever. And you need to sit down with a professional and a coach and a mentor and look at your calendar, look at your schedule and say, okay, here are the gaps. This is the amount of time this month that I have to dedicate towards improving myself as a rider um, or as a trainer or whatever. We need to maximize those few hours that I have. And a coach, you know, in one hour with a coach, you're gonna accomplish a whole lot more than you are in one hour by yourself. So if you're lacking in time, you need to spend the money so that you can maximize your time. If you are lacking in money, there's two things you can do. One, you can either make more money, get a side hustle, you know, do whatever. I have other videos that talk about how you can, you know, make extra money if that is something that you are looking to do. Um, but you can also save money. You can beg, borrow, you know, you can go and volunteer. You can shadow other mentors, shadow other coaches, um, reach out to people, you know, see, you're not gonna just get it by sitting on the couch, you know, twiddling your thumbs. You need to actively go out there, go and talk to people, go and talk to coaches, contact coaches on the internet. You know, there's so many online programs, like it's impossible with how many online programs there are. Like I have online courses. There's so many programs out there. Like it is impossible for you to be able to save up the money that you would need to do one of these online courses, okay? It's impossible because even with, you know, minimum wage job, even if it takes you six months, even if it takes you a year, but you can save the money, okay? You can, it's called priorities. You don't need Netflix, you don't need, you know, whatever it is that you think that you're paying for, that you need, you don't need it. You don't need that Starbucks coffee. Put that money into an online course or a writing lesson or a coach or a professional, like whatever it is. But education is extremely powerful and educating yourself as equestrians is the single most important thing that you can do for yourself and for your horse. You need to know that you deserve to invest in yourself, okay? You deserve to be the best equestrian you can for your horse. Your horse deserves to have the best equestrian riding them or working with them, okay? You both deserve it. There is no one on this planet who doesn't deserve you know, educating themselves and doing things correctly. You deserve it and you are worth the money and you should be investing in yourself and your education. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and share this video with your friends because this video could help save somebody's life, could help change their life, their horsemanship. Um, and hopefully you will just do me that favor and also hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and happy trails.